War. Not exactly a new concept. At first, it was really about the coming of an empire. All the human kingdoms on the Isserian continent united under a single crown and a single religion. And in both cases, I can tell you they weren't just playing around. But the end result was there. The Emperor Damocles made humans his sword. It was when His Majesty decided he wanted to extend his influence to the southern lands that sparks began to fly. Because, well, the peoples of the south are beast-like green creatures eight feet high, all muscle and nerves, with a natural-born talent for war. So, at figures, they resisted. Despite besieging their villages, and even though the Imperial Army was far better organized, the damned orcs fought back with savage rage, and their victories were the kind remembered for ages. But Damocles wasn't just gonna sit there and take it. Protecting their territory behind a giant wall, the Empire would never give up land, and its ruler wasn't planning on standing pat. With the construction of the wall, the scale of the war began to alarm the neighboring provinces. Faced with the green peril, the Empire saw the elves and the dwarves as potential allies. With their support, a quick victory over the Greenskins was a certainty, and peace could finally return to the Isserian continent. Afterwards, it just remained to be seen what kind of peace would await the vanquished. Over the decades of conflict, the orcs were already beginning to figure it out. They were much sought after for their strength and toughness, and so grinding slavery was always going to be the result. Submit or die. Needless to say, for a goblin like me, things were going to be just as bad. We were there to be had like rats in a trap. Yeah, it's not easy being a greenskin on this fucking continent. You got my sympathy if that's your case. See anything on patrol, Butcher? No, nothing. No footprints. I climbed to the top of a hill to the northwest and saw the heath and their fucking wall to the north. It would make a good lookout point till nightfall. Excellent. The Resistance found us a good place to camp to wait for what comes next. You, stand watch there. We'll change every three hours. Arkin wanted to see you, Butcher. He's probably somewhere around the falls. I'll go see him. Very good. Rest for an hour, then take a look around the eastern part. We'll have to stay on our toes now. Dissidents or not, it's tough to trust humans. Difficult to trust anybody. Understood. I'd really like to know why we were brought here. Something big. 
It's just the worst of us in this one. Even the Chief's gonna get his hands dirty. Jahil? Really? We're gonna kill the Emperor or what? Ha! Why not? That wouldn't hurt us a bit. <laughs> Him or another Quars doesn't change much. We still have human allies, Arkai. It's not over yet. Apparently in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try, they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! Huh. Go back down to Earth. You don't send out a Bloodjar raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. With or without allies among the Quarsad, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. All of this reeks of a last stand, or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, Bloodjaw. Come on, defend yourself. It'll do you good. Shit, Arkai, relax. You get angry way too fast. You gotta learn to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again. And I go mental. One more reason not to get hit, and not to keep trying with a technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. Instead of going on the defensive while I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better, and that gives you the time to study your opponents. Come on, let's try again. Only this time, you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. But what I really need is some way to blow off steam on a fucking combat lesson. Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Barryman for the Blood Jaws. What's it about? And where'd you come from? Thank you, Mother Earth. You have what you wanted, Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage. You. You're the Butcher, right? A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Arkai, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. It can't control you. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? I'll catch up with you. Blood 
Jaws. Know that being here today is the greatest honor an orc can hope to receive. You are here for the most important mission in your life, and perhaps in the history of our people. This war has gone on too long, and our enemy is more powerful than ever. But Mother Earth has not abandoned us. We have allies. For a while now, we've been preparing our counterattack with their support. But events are speeding up, and fate has turned against them. We have to move fast, now. It's time to put an end to the genocide that's been ravaging our people for decades. An end to this campaign of hate waged against us by the other peoples. My brothers, we must strike our enemy's head. Today, we are setting off to kill the Emperor. It will be a long and arduous journey. Each of you will receive specific instructions. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! You said something about a suicide mission? It's worth a shot. Butcher! We'll start with you. Follow me! The rest of you wait outside. Right. Arkai, you go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east entrance. His name is Styx. He will guide you to the mire in the lower floors of the Inquisition's tower, where you will contact the Resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. The Resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkens will then help you reach the Island of Laments, your final destination, where your only task will be to kill the Emperor at all costs. Questions? That was the first time I've heard you say my name, Jarhill. What's up with you? That's true, Bloodjaw. It's a mission for the Butcher of Bay Harbor. But if I don't call you by your real name today, I doubt I ever will. Huh. <laughs> you expecting me to fail? As long as one of us kills the Emperor, nobody will have failed. But yeah, you probably won't come back, Butcher. I probably won't come back either. But that still doesn't mean I expect you to disappoint me, or I wouldn't have chosen you. If you have to die at the Wall, you will at least have drawn the attention of the humans, like moths, to the flame. So your brother Bloodjaws will be able to get through more easily. Got it. Fine. If I gotta die so you can get across, I'll do it. And the Quarson will see only me. No, Arkai. Your mission is the same as ours. You have to do whatever you can to reach and kill the Emperor. As far as getting their attention goes, don't worry about it. You'll do it anyway. I know you, Butcher. <laughs> so, basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire, where hopefully the Resistance will contact me, then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off with her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor? Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell. And you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. I'm ready.
The Butcher of Bay Harbor. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. They just gave me a name. Archie. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't gonna be a walk in the park. The blood jaws never screw around. Cold as death and twice as savage. Fucking terrifying. But I was blinded by the smell of money, okay? I was gonna be really well paid just to play the guide and get the killing machine to the other side of the wall. And if everything went well, as a bonus, piles of those pale guys were gonna get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? bit trickier than I thought. Inquisition is around. The doors are closed and there's a curfew. They're not letting anything or anybody through. It's a real mess. What do you have in mind? Well, I figured we'd knock on the main door and say hi there. My friend and I are here to kill the Emperor. Can you let us in, please? You keep that up, Rakash, and you'll regret it. Okay, okay. Right now, I think we should go to my place in the shanty town. That's not far. It's an old tower I'm sharing with some allies. They'll help us get past the wall. Well, under it, seeing as above it isn't possible. I don't really have a choice, do I? After you. closed up here. Wait for me. There's a passage just over there. I'll go and open the door. Call that patrolling, scumbags? Get those feet moving. I want to hear the sound of your boots, or there won't just be wood on the fire the next time you take ten. Ah, oh, shit. 
We can't go that way. What? Because of those four runts? Look, if we start beating everyone up, we'll never get out of here. Especially seeing as how they just got told off. If we get involved in that, the entire place will be all over our asses. You're scared. Yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf. Seriously, what did I tell you before? You gotta be discreet, like subtle. You can't just go wading in like a pig that sees a pile of shit. We should go around. We can go down that alleyway over there. Because there's no militia over there? There'll be a lot less of them. We should be able to handle them my way. Quietly. Without me, Ark doesn't stand a chance. I better go see what he's up to. Shit, I don't think I can do this on my own after all. You wanted militia? You got militia. Whatever, enough talk. Let's get this over with. Try not to shout too loud and we'll be fine. I don't need to shout to take out those damn people. called Sork. He's about as straight as a pubic hair, and loves kissing his boss's ass. Damn traitor! I'll tear him to pieces! You'll get more than you can handle if you start that. Anyway, no point raising a sweat over him. Just slip his boss a present, and he'll leave us alone like a good little dog. But... Can you pretend to be a slave? You think I'm gonna kiss ass in front of a croissant? Or even worse, in front of a rakash? Look, I know you don't like the idea. 
But if it means staying out of the fight... All right, forget it. I'll make as if you're my bodyguard. But keep your mouth shut. Whatever happens. You got that? Yeah, got it. So, Sticks. Got a new boyfriend? From the size of him, you got a thin little soul, right? <laughs> oh, yeah! That's why I'm walking funny. And you're so in love, you forgot about the curfew, right? Listen, I had a few troubles lately, which is why I got muscles here. And I'm outside right now. So, can't you just say you never saw me? You know, things have changed, son. The Inquisitors are really interested in guys like you. Give me a reason not to call. How about because you got something on the books with Sarkis that I could take care of? Well, if you put it that way, works for me. Didn't see you. Well, come on, boys, let's move on! Rakesh bodyguard? Never heard of anybody so pathetic he'd take that kind of contract. You're either really desperate, or a serious piece of shit! You know, your dog there isn't exactly well trained. Thinks he owns the place. Why would you let scum like that fuck up your business? He didn't say nothing. That's what dogs are like, and you should know. When they meet another one, they gotta sniff each other's butts and growl. Just whack them on and they'll learn their place. Seeing as you feel like growling, you can stand guard here, while we go somewhere warm. You'll pay for this, you son of a bitch! I'll get you someday! Oh shit, what the... Oh shit! Shit! I can't believe it! Help! Fuck! A bloodshot! Help! Let's come see your tattoo. Don't you think you could have maybe hidden it, huh? No, I did what you said, and that's already enough. You're a guy. You're being paid to get me across. That's it. Yeah, but that's no reason to make everything harder than it already is. Now everyone's gonna be all over our asses. The place will be crawling with them. Looking after this kind of stuff is your job. You're not taking a kitten out for a walk, you know. I know. Believe me. I know. A blood jaw. I don't think you realize just how much you scare these bastards. They'll do anything to get you, and fast. 
So what next? We go to my hideout in the tower, and now... Bloodshot! That's him! Get him! Quick! Almost safe. My hideout is right behind there. Peace and quiet. Finally. This is my hideout. <laughs> we can take it easy here. The members of the Black Hand don't want to get caught by the militia either. That's Fox. She's got eyes and ears everywhere. And believe me, it comes in handy. 
That's Spearhead, a true fucking master with a medal. You might want to go see him. Just your dick and a knife won't be enough on the other side. That's the last in the corner. He's the last survivor of his tribe. Pretty damn tough, if you ask me. You got lots in common. Maybe you should try and bring him into your knitting circle. And up there, that's Monkey. He's the boss here. And we'll say hi to him just to stay on his good side. Hey, still alive, scumbag? Kicking and screaming! Arkai, this is the monkey, captain of the Black Hand. Captain? You look pretty good there, buddy. You could do wonders in the Black Hand. There's already a few of you people here, and they're pretty impressive. But a blood jaw. If you ever want to hire on as a mercenary, you'll be more than welcome. In the meantime, dump your gear somewhere. You're among friends here. It's safe. So, what's new, monkey? We're in the middle of a storm here, buddy. And believe me, it's a big one. You know they're onto you, and those fanatics are in a frenzy. They even caught the Brotherhood of Fat Gun less than two hours ago. They killed them all. Oh, that's not good. Fat Gun owed me money! Well, I guess we'll kick back here for a while until this blows over. If we don't have anything else to do here, let's go see your Sarkis now. I don't see any reason to collect dust here. Hey, did you see how they reacted to your tattoo? The Inquisitors are gonna be after you day and night. And the militia, too. So, we're gonna rest up here until things quiet down a bit. There's no choice. The Goblin is right. Anyway, your business will take time. Sarkis is gonna ask you for something, in exchange for getting you across. He's not gonna do it because he thinks you're cute. But Jarhill spoke about a caravan. Why don't we join that? The caravan is blocked on the other side of the wall. With the Inquisition here and the town locked down, nothing is like it was before. We got no choice. We have to change our plans. Since there's no more caravan, what do you suggest instead? Well, like I told you, we go see Sarkis so he can get us under the wall. We do what he asks in exchange, and there you go. We'll find the damn caravan on the other side. Do what he asks in exchange? The fuck does that mean? Hey, nothing's free around here. This is the territory of the humans, the Quarson. Never forget that. And Sarkis is not the best example of his kind. So give him his gold and let's move on. I highly doubt he'll be interested in that. It's not every day that he gets his hands on a blood jaw. I think he's gonna ask you to bump someone off or take out a competitor. Nothing too complicated. Don't worry. Right. Look, we make sure we got everything we need. And as soon as we're ready, we go see Fox so she can get us out. Hi, buddy. What exactly is the Black Hand? A gang of bandits? Bandits? Hmm. That kind of talk could get you in trouble. No, we're a band of mercenaries. There aren't a lot of us, but with the two orcs, we've got a hell of a lot of punch. And the run is a hell of a lot tougher than she looks. The band got a little bigger after a few fights, and we became official because we were all better off together. Strength in numbers, that kind of thing. Then that decree came down, making it illegal for the orcs to work. And suddenly, we were outlaws. But it's actually better, in a way. Now we're kind of like a family. No way I'm letting any fanatic tell me what to do with my companions. Hi. Welcome, Bloodjaw. Please allow me to give you this. Consider it my contribution to the mission that brings you here. What's this for? If you're here, it means there's something big in the air. And if you stay equipped like that, you won't get very far. The least I can do is give you this knick-knack. 
For the rest, you can trade, of course. But if you want anything really good, you'll need to fight. What tribe are you from? How did you end up in this hole? I was in the Lands of Ashes tribe. Then one day I was captured by the Quarsan while I was away and on my own. They were going to take me to the Wall. I probably would have been made to work on it and ended up underneath it like so many of my brethren. But Monkey attacked the caravan that was transporting us. He had a score to settle with the slavers. So I joined the Black Hand. When the decree about the orcs came down, we were made outlaws, but Monkey still wanted me to stay. My knowledge of smithcraft makes me irreplaceable here. My smithcraft has gotten the band out of bad situations lots of times. What's that? Orc craftsmanship? Don't hold this against me, but these secrets make all the difference against the other bands. I don't know you well enough to tell you. Did you say fight? The Black Hand has a tradition, the challenge. If you beat one of us fair and square, he has to give you something worthy of the fight you won. You'll probably take me to pieces, but tradition is tradition. I'll go easy on you. of the Blood Jaws is no mere legend. Here, take this. It's my reward. This was my father's armor. It'll drink more enemy blood when you wear it than on a hook at my forge. Thank you. I'll wear it well. So, who should I challenge now? Fox! She's next! But watch out. She may not look like much, but she's a fantastic fighter. And a nasty one, too. Still alive? Absolutely. You know I can't be killed. You gonna introduce me to your friend? Uh, just a wild guess, but it wouldn't happen to be the famous Blood Jaw, would it? The one causing all the panic around here? Oh yeah, the very same. Your sources are as good as ever. Fox, this is Arkai. Arkai, this is Fox. Hey, nice move, Arkai. Not the smoothest, are you? I like that. <laughs> I like a little fun. Watch out for my friend, though. He can be an absolute bastard, but he's all right. Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I look out for him, dumped out here on his lonesome. <laughs> he may be tough, but he wouldn't last ten minutes on his own. You got that right. So, what can I do for you? Let's go. We gotta see Sarkis. Okay, but watch yourselves. The Brotherhoods are on the edge. And apparently, there's a price on your heads. Stay low. Not now. You guys need me? I beat Spearhead. Apparently, you're next? Yeah. But first, you should take care of your business with Sarkis. Better not to keep that guy waiting. We'll fight when you get back. Greetings. So, you're the blood draw. That's me. What did you do to end up here? Who did you kill? Hey guys, relax. It's not the time. Drop it, our guy. I want to challenge you in the tradition of the Black Hand. I have more important traditions to worry about, blood draw. Don't piss me off with that shit.
You guys need me? Let's go. Okay. Don't worry. They didn't waste any time. Look, they got our pictures everywhere. That means we're gonna have every dirt bag in the place on our asses. If you want my opinion, we should get out of here fast. By the way, this is called the Gem District. Kind of a nice way to say it's the biggest shit pit around. The worst vermin in the city live here. The Empire used to tolerate them, and even deployed them from time to time. Now, though, the locals are starting to feel the heat. It's not gonna make things any easier. And of course, Sarkis lives right in the middle of this pile of shit. The entrance to the catacombs. What's down there? The wall didn't just grow, you know. Thousands of slaves died here. We don't talk about it. For us, everyone who comes out here is a goner. They don't exist anymore. It looks like you heard right. There's fucking bones everywhere. Inside, there's lots of people hiding. Deserters, murderers. With the goblins, Sarkis controls this entire world. You trust this guy? You crazy? I'd rather trust a fucking scorpion. But it's like I said, we need him. He controls all of the catacombs and sewers through the goblins. Don't know how he did it, bastard. But he's got him running around for he trained them to protect his territory and bring him whatever they find digging around in the human shit. And there's a lot of that. You know how many fucking soldiers live in the wall? Thousands, Ark. Thousands. And I'll tell you something. This guy, Sarkis, he's been breathing in all that shit for way too long. He's a completely psycho headcase from hell. So, ready to meet him? Let's go see this guy. Okay, one last thing. I don't know what he's going to ask for, but there's no choice. Don't forget that, okay? This nutcase is our only way in. Sticks! Oh, both wants to talk to you. That way. So, what does that little crook want with me? And why the hell is it any of our business? Mm. Obav is pretty sneaky, but he's not the worst. He wouldn't lay such an obvious trap. On the other hand, if we snub it, we sure as hell won't like it. It's your call, but I think we should go. It's not that much out of our way. At last! Oba! Things going well, I hope. Yeah, right. Things have been going to the dogs around here the last little while. Nothing's like it was. All or nothing. Ah, the Inquisition, right? Among others. There's your pictures plastered everywhere, too. Nice to look at. But a lot of people are getting hard-ons. A little easy money is always nice.
don't bullshit me. I know you. If we're talking, it's because you need something from me. Spit it out. Always so direct. Okay, to the point. The Inquisitors have been causing hell. Some gangs are splitting up, others reinforcing. Mine is more or less in the right category. My problem is that Jared's is too. Weren't you and Jared buddies? Yeah, he's been doing deals with the Inquisitors since they got here. He took care of a lot of things around here by selling out dealers. If I let him get away with it, it'll be my turn soon. Yeah, let me guess. Jared's become... inconvenient? You might say that, but I can't attack him directly. The other gangs would take it badly. So, uh, it'd be better for everyone if you and your friend looked after it, if you see what I mean. Uh-huh. What's in it for us? Me and my men will leave you alone. And I can give you back the daggers you lost at Dice the other day. Uh, it's not really enough. But those daggers mean a lot to me. Consider it done. We were going that way anyway. I'll see you there. Come on, boys. We're out of here. can't just let Ark fight on his own. He'd have a hell of a time getting out of it, let alone finding me. Anyway, we're not coming back here. We're here. Jared's hideout is over there on the left. Do we... Hey! It's the guys with the bounty on them! The first to get the fat one gets paid double!
Good work, Sticks. I knew I could count on you. So hello, payday. Your daggers, as promised. Oh, and I put the word out. My men will leave you alone. Oh, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Careful, though. There's Inquisition patrols everywhere in the neighborhood. Right. Let's go see Sarkis. Or do you really want to clean all the scum out of this hole? Hey! It's not my fault our pictures are plastered all over the place. Alert! To us! Just leave without the big guy. He wouldn't like it. I better go get him. Alert! To us! Either guide him or betray him. But I can't just leave the big. Shh! Inquisition soldiers. Are you watching your brethren getting slaughtered like that? No, I'm not like them. I'm a survivor. But if we want to meet up with Sarkis, we're gonna have to get rid of these scumbags. They're camping out right in front of this door. Nice of you to clean our doorstep, Sticks. Good timing. Sarkis is expecting you. Follow me. And don't go getting yourselves lost.
Talk about a maze. If this guy weren't here, we'd be completely lost. Well, well, what do we have here? The famous Bloodjaw who's been terrifying the militia. <laughs> Does it speak? Take it easy, Ark. Yeah, it speaks. And it's as dangerous as they say. Anyway, let's not waste time on chit-chat. What's it gonna take to get us through? Hmm... He'll do. What do I want to get you across? The Inquisition is pissing me off. They're fucking around with my business. I want you to get even for me. What exactly do you mean? My business runs smoothly, thanks to your brother's sticks. The goblins are like children to me. Ha! <laughs> I'd have said you're dogs, but I don't want to insult your family. You can't see how much affection I have for them. I protect them from themselves and others. You form attachments, understand? I've invested time and money in getting them out of the cesspit and teaching them. I'm like a father to them, Styx. I represent an ideal hope. Yeah, they've got it good working for you. Every day is fucking paradise. Get to the point. Listen, my children, therefore, also represent the heart of my business. And today, they're being hunted down. The Inquisition wants to hurt them. Did you see what they dared do on my doorstep? I'm slowly losing control. They even go down into the catacomb on punitive raids. They're attacking my people, my territory, and business is suffering. Okay, we get it. It's the Inquisition. You already said that at the start. What do you want us to do about it? Strike at their very heart. You know they're based in the past. They requisitioned the Pilgrim's Chapel. I want this chapel burned to the ground! Sounds more like revenge than anything else. You really think that'll solve anything? Hmm, maybe not. But I want these Inquisitors, these fucking sons of bitches, to roast like they've burned my children! I want the smell of their burnt flesh to fill, to smother the whole shanty town. I want to hear them crying over their dead! <laughs> hmm, you're about to lose it, buddy. Not good for business. If that chapel burns, the Inquisition will recall its hounds. I get control back, and I get you across the wall. So, you need some kind of diversion? Punishment. The disciples of the Grand Inquisitor are quartered in the chapel. That scumbag kills my children. I kill his. I want to hear him wailing over the corpses of his disciples. That's what I want! There's something seriously wrong with this guy. Let's go. We got no choice. His plan is completely insane. Do you really think the Inquisition will leave after something like that? They are burning and torturing my children! All right. How do we get there? Oh, it's chaos down there. But I can let you out in the pass. That'll help. I'll do better than that. Raven will take you back to the Black Hand hideout through the tunnels, so you can get what you need. He'll take you to the pass when you're ready. All right. We'll do it. But I'm counting on you to get us past the wall when this is over. I still think this plan is weak. The smell of burning flesh. That will be our signal. Once its scent is in the streets, I will get you across to the other side. This passageway is the property of Sarkis. If you want to use it, you go through me. As soon as you are ready, I'll take you to the chapel. Okay, we'll be back soon. One last thing. There's an orc like you who thought he could get through without us. Like me? Yep, like you. Same build, same tattoo. You know where he is? No, but I know where he'll end up. He was caught by the Inquisitors. He dead? 
Maybe. But I think that they'll kill him in public, as an example. That's what happens to people who think they can do without Sarkis. I get it. You don't have to go on about it. We know you're indispensable. I spoke to the last. I know what the problem is. Dorek is around. The trainer? You know that son of a bitch? The Blood Jaws have been trying to catch him for years. But he's never in the same place for long. And he always leaves bodies behind him. True. The son of a bitch trains his dogs to track and kill orcs by using our brothers. He gets a really good price for his dogs, too. You know exactly where he is? Fox knows. Why? You want to take care of it? You be careful. The last has a personal interest in this one. Yeah. Well, so do I. I beat Spearhead. Apparently, you're next? You watch it, Arkai. Don't think that just because I'm a girl, it'll be easy. I don't come after Spearhead for nothing, you know. The fact you're a girl doesn't change anything for me, Fox. Our females know how to fight. You are human, though. Let's see. Nice try, but you're just not up to it. Give Monkey a shot. It's his turn now. I think you owe me a reward. Take it easy. I know that's why you took me on. Take this armor. I can't use it anyway. It's way too big for me. Ah, Sticks. I was going to come to see you. We've got a problem. So what's up? We've got a scourge on our hands. So what? Isn't Sarkis taking care of it? It's his sector, after all. Apparently, he doesn't want to get involved. With all the Inquisitors in the area, he's looking to stay down. Uh, what's a scourge? Hordes of goblins destroying everything in their path. It's like the Berserk or something. Ring any bells? The militia will show up in force to hold the area and get rid of them. If we don't do something, they may find us. We have to get there before they do. You offered a sanctuary. We'll help you out. Appreciate it. Right, let's not waste time. And how do you explain that? How do I explain what? I didn't do anything. The rats took a detour into town and we're gonna have to mop them up, that's all. Don't give a shit about the rest. They're your people. You can't forget that. My people, huh? Okay, then listen. Those guys come from below, right? Nobody knows why they get that way, coming out in packs and attacking anything that moves. Nobody! Some say it's fungus eating their brains. Others say they're inspired by the entrails of the earth or some mystical shit like that. So, happy now? Like the explanation? And you can't reason with them? Of course we can. That's why I brought my daggers. But things will go faster if you help me preach. So let's go. I need sticks to finish my mission. I can't go without him.
rich get with the bounty on them. Yeah, well, meantime, they're saving our asses. Bounty or not, I ain't getting involved. Oh, well, talk about a fucked up day. They looked like starving hyenas. Yeah, well, carrying feeders. Good riddance. You don't think the militia might turn up? Those lazy bastards? Nah, we did their work for them. Don't worry, they'll let the locals clean up the shit themselves. We're going back. Monkey will be happy, and we can go see circus. He your friend? Monkey? Let's just say I respect his dreams. He still believes he'll be able to charter a boat and leave this dump. He's got a kind of vision. He wants to swap mud for the sea. And he seems to really believe it. I respect that. For once, I agree. Let's go. You did good work with the Scorch. The Black Hand is in your debt. We're kind of broke right now, what with this decree and all. But take this, by way of thanks. I want to challenge you, monkey, according to the Black Hand tradition. You beat Fox, I'm your man. I'll show you what the captain of the Black Hand is worth. Bring it on. Good work, Bloodjaw. To be honest, you weren't bad, and I just wasn't up to it. Take this talisman. I've had it for a while. You'll need it to challenge the last. Can we talk? Don't feel like it. It would seem the trainer is here. He's mine. He's all of ours. The Blood Jaws. You've been after him for years, but you never caught him. So what's your story? Think you're gonna catch him just standing there? Monkey told me I can't go after him for the time being. I'm waiting. <laughs> Nobody tells me what to do. Can we talk? Don't feel like it. I want to challenge you in the tradition of the Black Hand. I have more important traditions to worry about, Bloodjaw. Don't piss me off with that shit. Good going, guys. Good to see the Scourge was taken care of without the militia getting involved. It would have been tough to find another place to hole up as good as this one. You should go talk to Monkey Sticks. If I know him, he stashed something for you. His way of saying thanks. Apparently you know where this Dorit guy is. 
Yeah, I know a lot of things. But as to that, I've only heard rumors. I've heard said he's set up around the south door, near the old granite quarry. But I haven't checked it out myself. Could be a dead end. It's worth a shot. You know where it is? Of course. Then let's get moving. This has already gone on long enough. Almost there. I hope Darik is there, because I don't like making detours for nothing. And of course, it's full of dogs. I hate dogs! They slobber, they bite, they run everywhere barking and start sniffing your ass from the other side of the shanty town. Huh. <laughs> don't need to be a dog to smell you coming. Yeah, well, these ones are actually pretty nasty. Their trainer is twisted. There's a lot of rumors about your buddy, a real legend. I heard he chopped off his arm to feed one of his dogs that was starving. Bullshit, Rakash. He's just a human who's full of hate. A skein. A what? A dead heart. And his body will be joining soon. Can show up right in front of my place. You robbed me of a nice hunt, scum. I don't like that. You slobber like your dogs, Dorek. I hope they also taught you to play dead. I trained these dogs, Greenskin. They deserve it. You're a beast of no interest. You can't be tamed. And what I can't train, I kill. We'll see who dies first, human. will be happy. The trainer died like the dog he was. His cursed soul will float in the wind for a long time. Fucking dogs. They were already cursed. See their eyes? Like Sarkis's goblins. Empty, buddy. An empty look. Nothingness. Now that's creepy. We're done here. Come on. I want to tell the last about all this. The trainer's dead. You robbed me of his death. Let's settle this now, just the two of us. We'll respect the Black Hand tradition that way, too. Excellent. We'll see what you can do.
Arkai. I would be honored to call you brother from now on. Your victory brings me great relief. For a long time now, I've been seeking an heir to whom I can give the memory of my clan. I am the last. When I am gone, the turquoise dawn will be but a memory. Do you accept the gift, and are you ready to do your utmost to perpetuate the tribe when I am gone? I accept the gift. On you, Arkai, son of Marlock and Isya, I confer the mark of the turquoise dawn. I hereby grant you the memory of the brothers and sisters of the tribe. May their spirits forever find voice in your deeds and in your words. Bear this mark as you would a shield. May it protect you from your enemies and carry the whispers of Mother Earth deep within your soul. I will do my utmost to be worthy of it. It's always a pleasure to see you, my brother. How'd you end up here, old orc? I was the best warrior in my clan. One day, while I was out reconnoitering, men attacked the tribe, either slaughtering them or taking them prisoner. I followed them, of course, and got revenge. But those of my tribe who had still been alive preferred to die rather than to become slaves. There was no one left to save. So I wanted vengeance against the one who gave the orders for this massacre. That's why I came here. And when I did get him, I realized that all I had left was revenge. There was nothing else left. Then I came across Monkey. He's a good guy for a quars. He suggested I join his band and told me I'd find a family. It was true, even if, until you got here, I always kept my tribe's secrets to myself. Seems you took on that bastard of a trainer. About time someone took him down a bit. If you need work done on that old armor of yours, it's on the house, with our thanks. So... We going or what? After you. There you go. The chapel is right there. Nice bonfire material. It's gonna be hell in there. And it seems the disciples are inside. The Grand Inquisitor's gonna be pissed, guys. You'd better not hang around. I'll wait for you here. Don't worry about us. We going, pal? Finally, they're gonna pay. In blood. Hey, snap out of it. We're on a mission, remember? We're not here to bathe in blood. But... The Inquisition tramples our beliefs and denies our existence. They wanna wipe my people off the face of the world. Ah, play me another sad song and I'll cry on your shoulder. You talk too much, Rakash. I warned you. What? Wait, hey, wait! Take it easy! Calm down. You're gonna be needing him. Man, that guy's a serious nutcase.
Archive's a tough guy, but I owe it. Wouldn't hurt to give him a hand in this fight. Your cousin? Yeah, the arrested. to find sticks before going anywhere. I'm gonna need him again. Let's keep it simple. We can use those. We go around with the torches and set fire to whatever burns. The door. It's gonna burn, so they can't get out. No mercy, huh? Okay, we do the door last and then we beat it. Screaming. You hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Let them squeal. So these are the green skins our pathetic militia couldn't catch. The hunt is over. What have you done? The disciples! They're fry, dickhead! My disciples! Kill them! Over here. Hurry. No need to tell us twice. Good work. Now it's my turn. As soon as you're ready, we'll go down. Mind your step, though. It's a one-way trip. No coming back. If you get into the sewers, you get to the other side of the wall. It's as simple as that. Well, guys, you've done a pretty good job stirring things up outside. That said, you aren't the only ones. There's another blood jaw out there doing the same thing. 
A blood jaw? Keep talking. He was captured if my sources got it right. But after what you did in the pass, he got away. You sure it's another blood jaw? Listen, it's my job to know these things. Plus, he took some slaves with him, and the ones they didn't catch again talked about him. Anyway, for his sake, he'd better not plan on sticking around. The Inquisition have the hounds after him. The hunt is on. I can't just let them hunt him down like some animal. Take me to wherever he's hiding out. Whoa, take it easy. I can take you to the edge of the shanty where he was last seen, but after that... Huh? You out of your mind? You really want to put your life at stake for this guy? Okay, great. So he's your butt. But aren't you always saying the mission comes first? Theoretically, yes. But if two of us can actually get by, we'll have a better chance of pulling off the mission. Anyway, that's just the way it is. I won't just leave him. And obviously I have to go along to watch your ass. Somebody really hates me giving me this bullshit contract. Shit. You do realize we're walking into major shit here, right? What the fuck are we doing here, anyway? We're saving a blood brother. I'm not rescuing an entire garrison. One like you is enough. I'm already having trouble pooping. Don't get me started. You're alone, Rakash. You're dying of loneliness. The Blood Jaws are a family. My family. Yeah, well, I'll take lonely any time. Families are a big pain in the ass. You just take me to my brother. Apparently, we're in the right place. I just hope it's not too late. Without me, Ark doesn't stand a chance. I better go see what he's up to. been so happy to see you. What the fuck are you doing here? What shit are you in this time? I was supposed to take a green giant across, like your friend there, uh, but it went wrong and I ended up with the Inquisitors after me. And the blood jaw, where is he? I lost him in the catacombs. He did? Unless the goblins invited him in for a drink, what do you think? I managed to get away. Not him. It's over. I am sorry if you were friends. 
What's the connection with the Inquisition? Well, turns out as soon as I stuck my nose out the door, I already had a price on my ass. Really? Is there a poster? Got one I could have? Very funny. Seriously, I don't know how the Inquisition knew what I was doing. But I could kiss my pay goodbye. I've heard enough. Let's go back. You heard the boss, beautiful. We're going back to the Black Hand. You coming? Thanks, but I don't want to cause the monkey any more trouble. He's had enough. I'm gonna disappear. Go somewhere else until things calm down. Your choice. Good luck, Broom. You got the Inquisition where it hurts. That's good. What's even better is some of our own got away. Talk to Fox. She knows more than me. How'd you get here? It's a long story. All I can tell you is that when I was young, I trained for a while with the Sisters of Laments, the best fighters in the world. They were too strict for my taste. I took off, wandered around for a bit, <laughs> then I ended up in this hole. I finally came across Monkey, and he suggested I join the Black Hand. He needed someone who could get around. And now, my job is to know everything that's going on around here. So I've got eyes and ears everywhere. If you need info, I'm the one to talk to. Anything else? What's that? Orc craftsmanship? Mm. You've proven you deserve our trust. All right, I'll tell you what I can, to a layman, anyway. A forge isn't just for making bits of armor, you know. A good smith can take what you already have and improve it. Sort of like the way the wizards talk about turning lead into gold. If you come across a good smith, you can ask him to take a look at your equipment. He'll tell you if he can improve it, and how. That's the kind of thing I often do for members of the band. Good to see you guys again. Your mission wasn't easy, but you did good work. Looks like these bastards from the Inquisition got fire in their pants. By the way, some people took advantage of it. You should talk to Fox. So, you sure you want me to take you to the other side? Yes. It's time for some serious business. You talk to the guys? Got everything you need? Yes, we're going. We're almost there. After you. I got a bad feeling about this. This place stinks of a trap. <laughs> Raven, you son of a bitch traitor! Come back here! You are surrounded. My men have you in their sights, creatures. Give yourselves up and you may live. Save your breath for your last rites, human. I am Archai, heir to the Red Breath tribe. I am a Bloodjaw, and my blood belongs to the Hotlands. I was born, I live, and I will die on my feet. Yeah, what he said. Better here than on the torture racks. If such is your wish, kill them! Greenskins! So 
So I've been sold out, Rakash? That bastard! He sold us out. No sense of honor. To do that. To me. I thought I could trust you, Rakash. To arms! Shut down the sector! Don't let the criminals escape! Okay, fine. I fucked up. I don't know where Raven gave us to slip, but we shouldn't stick around. Let's get back to the surface and I... You gab all you want. I'm not following you anymore. As of now, I do it my way. Hey, wait, okay. It's a bit of a setback. Some people are dead, but I can make up for it. I have the contacts and I... Shut your fucking mouth, Rakash. Shut it. I'd love to kill you, but I still need you. Get your ass in gear and get us out of this hole. Then we'll go see Sarkis. We'll have a nice little chat. My way. Fine by me. We'll stay in the catacombs to shake the soldiers. Get this door open. I'll keep them back. We've got to pick up the pace. Trapped! Shit, we're goners. Gotta jump. Huh? You're kidding, right? I said jump. Hold on. Uh, think about it just a second. We can uh, barricade the door or, or get ourselves up. That'll give us some time and then. your feet. Come on, wake up, asshole. Uh, that was a bit of a drop. Where are we? I think we're in the bowels. The lower part of the catacomb. Going by the stench, anyway. If This place reeks of death, rats, and worse. And we're gonna have to go even deeper into these tunnels. Know your way around these bowels. Are you insane? Only scum come down here. It's infested with goblins and mutts. <laughs> no choice anyway. Come on.
can't just leave without the big guy. He wouldn't like it. I better go get him. Just leave without the big guy. He wouldn't like it. I better go get it.
I can't just sneak away. The fight isn't over. See him? He came for you, too. You hear that, brother? That whispering, getting louder. Everyone ever buried here needs us. Me, you, their lost sheep looking for a shepherd. I am Arka of the Red Breath. We need your help, Shaman. Tell them to let us pass. Arkai. You can hear it too. Your brothers are buried here. Mother Earth led you here. You must come with me. Sorry, Shaman. I'm on a mission. I have to get past the wall as fast as possible. Can you help us? But you cannot refuse the call of Mother Earth. I am a guide. I have need of strong spirits, souls forged and bathed in the blood of humans. Come with me, Arkai. No, I don't really have a choice. I can't stay here. Why do I have the feeling this isn't gonna turn out for the best? I'll come back if Mother Earth wants me to. But first I have to get past the wall. No, no, Arkai. Your presence here is a sign. Another Jarrosh like you is here. He will be happy to die with you. I will sacrifice you together, and you will be my hounds, my hunting dogs. Another blood jaw? What's this about dogs? If you could hear the wailing of the lost ones, you wouldn't hesitate. They are watching you, brother, and they know you can guide them. Mother Earth demands it. This guy's talking bullshit. Let's get out of here. Uh, for once you're right. We've lost enough time. No! You must die. Join them, you and Arkin. Two brothers in arms to guide the lost ones. You said Arkin. Your blood jaw is called Arkin? Yes, 
and he is ready to show the Lost Ones the path of Mother Earth. And with you, they will be saved. Tell me what you've done with my brother, or you'll guide the souls yourself. What madman would spill the blood of a shaman? You've gone mad, Alkai. You must be stopped. But your soul can yet serve Mother Earth. To me, my slithering servants! Catch him and bring him to me in the room of whispers. Kill the goblin! I have no need of him! Come, meet your death! Feel fresh air coming from this passageway. It's a way out. Wait a second. He spoke about Arkin. He's one of my brothers. Huh? We'll worry about that later. We gotta get out of here now. Shit! Glad to see you're still alive, boys. Raven told us the Inquisition had you cornered. Yeah, well, they didn't corner us on their own, you know. Raven sold us out. That son of a bitch. He's there, talking with the monkey. He says the place is blown, and we should hide out with Sarkis. <laughs> we'll take care of him. You're in for it, boy. You're gonna regret insulting the Black Hand. I'll take my time, believe me. A lot of time. Stop. I had orders. Sarkis made the call. I didn't have a choice, you know. I'm sure we can agree on something. There must be some way of doing it. Don't break him, please, monkey. I need him to get to Sarkis. I don't have a choice anymore. I need this bastard to take us to the other side. You forget my brother Bloodjaw. We've got to save him from that crazy shaman. The shaman of the bowels? There's a bunch of people who want his ass. I've never had enough men to get into the catacombs and take care of him. That orc is dangerous, completely insane. But we know where he hides out. Fox scattered it out. No, we gotta get going. Sarkis will figure out his plan is fucked up. We gotta go, and we gotta go right now. Silence, Rakash. We're going to save my brother Bloodjaw, and get past the wall with him. That's not a good idea. Your buddy's got to be dead. Sarkis is our last chance to get past the wall. We can take the initiative again. If we don't, we'll be stuck here in this fucking trap. I'll take the chance. We go down and get him out of there. A warrior among the brave. I expected no less of you, Arkai. We're keeping Raven on ice for you. Come on. Shit. We had to come back here, huh? This place gives me the creeps. I can feel them. Feel what? The goblins? The inquisitors? The creeps? The dead. I feel their presence. The shaman was telling the truth. So what? You want to serve your soul on a plate in the name of all the oryx who died building the wall? Mm, no. Let's go. Him or betray him. But 
But I can't just leave the big guy on his own. I should go get him. me, Ark doesn't stand a chance. I better go see what he's up to. Your distance, Arkai! Don't make me cut his throat! What? You had something else in mind? Free him! No, wait! You don't understand! I can't free him! We're almost there! There is a reason for all this suffering, brother. Unless we give up now! Look at him! He knows! He knows! Free him! Right now! And you too, hmm? You hear him? Tell me. That's enough. For the last time, free my brother, or you will take his place. Very well. Let it be so. already just about dead, Ark. He would never have survived the journey. You did what you could. So, can we go now? Just a second. Please. There's only two of you. Too late? Yeah. But my brother's soul is free. I have avenged him. 
I'm sure his soul has already bathed in the breath of Mother Earth. I'll do him honor. Let's get back to Fox and the Monkey. They're negotiating for a new hideout. And they kept Raven on ice for you. Excellent. You still need me? You'll get across, I'm sure. You're all right, Arkai. It's been a pleasure meeting you. I hope we'll meet again, here or in the Great Breath. Farewell, brother. I'm not going further. You want me to finish what the monkey started? You don't betray Sarkis. Not him. You don't exactly have a choice, buddy. This is his place. You're gonna fail and he'll take me out. I'd rather die. Well, well. He's really scared. Raven! You couldn't go for the legs? Now what do we do? Hey, I'm a professional. It's not my fault I got reflexes. We'll get by. We can't be far. 